this time, Paul Murphy is playing with James Thompson, one of his old rivals. In 1857, Paul Murphy played many games with James Thompson. And there is an interesting note about James Thompson in the database. It says Thompson was one of the strongest players in his era. He was a strong player. So should Paul Murphy be a little careful against Thompson? No. Paul Murphy surrendered one of his knights before the game. He is playing with the knighthoods against James Thompson. Let's check out this game as soon as possible. So as you can see, in the chessboard, Paul Murphy surrendered one of his knights. So Paul Murphy starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, d6, d4, knight to c6, c3. And after c3, we have knight to f6 by Thompson, bishop to d3, bishop to g4, and Murphy castled, e takes on d4, c takes on d4, bishop takes knight, G takes on f3, opening the file, and it doesn't look very safe for white, but Morphy doesn't care, he is very confident, knight takes on d4 now by Thompson, Morphy played queen to a4, that's check, also attacking the knight, so what else, knight to c6, defending the knight and blocking the king, bishop to b5, attacking the knight, twice, Defending with the queen, rook to d1, a6, attacking the bishop, well Morphy is not defending the bishop, and he played e5. Everything is pinned in this position, so if pawn takes pawn, rook takes queen, and also if pawn takes bishop in this position, queen takes rook. And Thompson played knight to h5, at least defending the knight, bishop to g5 by Morphy, h6, kicking the bishop to somewhere else, and asking the bishop a question, Thompson says, what do you want to do, just go away, but Morphy played rook from a to c1, not going anywhere, and leaving the bishop on g5, not defending the bishop, rook to c8, by Thompson, and why James Thompson didn't capture the bishop if h takes on g5, then e takes on d6. If bishop takes on d6, rook takes on c6. If pawn takes rook, then bishop takes on c6. And the queen is pinned. This is winning the queen. But of course, black is not losing immediately. So Paul Murphy is not defending the bishop and intensifying the pressure on c6, rook to c8, queen to e4, and after rook to c8, Thompson says, I can capture your bishop, but Murphy doesn't care once again, and Murphy played queen to e4, leaving everything, and look at this position, isn't this interesting? Paul Murphy left two of his bishops, sacrificing and leaving Thompson to choose. Morphy says, which bishop do you want? You can capture any of my bishop, I don't care. You can capture both of my bishops. That's what Paul Morphy said, but Thompson didn't capture the bishop and in this position Thompson panicked and he played f5. He says, go away, leave me alone. He was panicked in this position it was a panic attack for Thompson. He says, leave me alone. Go away. But Morphy captures back. E takes on F6. And Thompson resigned. Another unbelievable chess game by Paul Morphy. Well, after queen to E4, if H takes on G5, well, this move was the better move. Then E takes on D6, king to D8. Then bishop takes on C6. If pawn takes bishop, then d takes on c7, and winning the queen. But actually this is not completely losing for black. Black is still in the ball game, and black is fighting back, but of course white has the queen. But after queen to e4, the worst move was f5. Maybe Thompson was panicked, maybe it was a panic attack for Thompson. 
Well, of course, Paul Murphy captures with Ampassan. He takes on F6 and the game ended here. Thompson resigned. So let me show you the possible continuation. If king to f7, then bishop to c4, d5, rook takes on d5. And there is no need to go further. I think this is enough. Black is getting force checkmated in this position. And what if king to d8? Is it better? No. f takes on g7, that's check with the bishop. So pawn takes bishop, what else? And then g takes on h8, promoting a queen. If bishop to e7, then queen to g6 is losing immediately for black. As you can see, again, there is force checkmate after rook takes on d5. Thompson bashed this up very badly. What a horrible chess game for James Thompson. Unbelievable chess game. So, with watching these games, we can also see the psychological advantage of Paul Morphy. He is sacrificing his knight before the game. He is playing some careless moves, sacrificing everything, and yet, he is winning easily. It looks like this f5 move was a panic move. So e takes on f6 and the game ended here. Another marvelous chess game by Paul Morphy against all odds. Paul Morphy once again managed to crush his opponent like a little baby. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.